Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to create tappable overlays and how to create a game menu. Now, I know this became popular, I think a couple months ago where a lot of creators on episode were creating game menus. I think it's a fun way to get your um, readers to interact with your story. Um, you can have different type of buttons if you wanna create button, um, if you wanna start the, uh, story if you want to do a customization button a skip button a, a review button there are so many different things you can do with the game menu but i'm just doing the basic one which is uh, the start button the customization button and the skip button i'm going to show you how to do that and it is kind of difficult but i'm going to try my best to do step by step and just follow my directions and you should be okay and i also will give you some tip and tricks so that way you can have a successful game menu so you don't have so many errors and everything like that Let's get started. So I already have my background here and I already created my overlays and I already placed them into my story. So I created my own overlays. Um, um, so yeah, if you don't know how to create your own overlays, you can definitely go to the episode forum and ask people to create some for you. I know there's some people that would do it for free. Others will do it for commission. So just watch out for that. So. I will show you what it looks like. So I have my game menu already set here. Again, already shifted, it, scaled it, everything. So this is how I did it. You can definitely do it how you wanna do it. I just wanted to do it this way. The number one thing that I will say is when creating these game menus and creating these tappable overlays, you wanna make sure they're spaced out enough. If you don't, it will be very difficult um, in the sense of you will be trying to tap one button and it may go to a different button because of the space that's between them. Make sure you have a good amount of space between your um, game menu buttons. So now that we have that situation started, now we wanna create the tappable part. So it's like making a choice, which is kind of easy. I already did a video on how to make choices on episodes, so check out my previous videos, but um, I'm going to show you how to do the tappable. So it's pretty easy in this sense. So the first thing I wanna do is enter the word tappable. And then after that, I want to do a quotation and then enter the overlay that I want to be tappable. So the overlay that I want to be tappable is, let's start with the custom overlay, the customization button, which is this. This is going to be a little longer and it's gonna be the most difficult one. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to enter pink custom. I'm gonna close the quotation, open up a bracket. By open up this bracket, we're letting episode know that when the reader clicks on the customization button, what will happen when they click on the customization button? So obviously when they click on the customization button, they get to customize their characters. I'm going to show you how to set that up and how to do that. So first thing I want to do is a transition because I just don't want it to look choppy. Fade out blue five. And then I can pick a background and put my character in it. So the first thing I want to do is to find a background. Um, you can use any background. Uh, um, let's pick any old, let's do a bedroom, right? Because why would they be outside changing clothes? We can do like a bedroom or we can do a bathroom. Let's do a bathroom because why not, right? People get dressed in a bathroom. It's pretty normal. <laughs> so then I'm gonna, I'm going to put that there. So then I want to put um, I'm going to put cut to zone one. And then also, I don't know if I mentioned this, I made sure to put a label on my game menu because after the customization, you want them to be able to leave the customization and go back to the game menu to either skip the story or to start the story. So that's why it's important to create the label because if you don't, they will be stuck in the customization um, top of one, they won't be able to leave. So make sure you create that label so they will be able to exit. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create, uh, I want to put my character in. So I'm going to say at Anna stands screen center. Oh, screen enter. No, screen center and Anna pieces. Right. And this is in zone one. Also, one thing that I did notice about the customization template is it gets really funky if you are using it in different zones. I'm going to tell you what I mean. So I'm going to use the screen template, the script template, template. I'm sorry. I don't know why I can't speak. I'm going to use the script template from episode that they have already on here. You can go to Dara Amari. I think that's how you say her name. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. She has templates here, but you will have to do in the work. And I will do a separate video on how to use her templates. It's really easy, but I'm going to show you how to 
do it. So the next thing we're going to do is enter. Um, next thing we're going to do is click on this template. So first thing I want to do is click enter. And then I want to click on the limelight female one. If you have a male, obviously click on male. I'm going to click on female. And then I'm going to enter in Anna because that is who we're changing. That is who is going to be changing. So I want to click enter. So what is happening is they basically just summed it all up. So I'm going to click this button here and it opens it up. So then the next thing I'm going to do is if you're i'm going to erase this because this is a bunch of nothing um they have this one here but i'm going to erase this because i already have her entering the screen and then the next thing i want to do they already have this pretty much set up which is pretty cool they already have her name here um so it makes it real real easy but while we're doing that <clears throat> we want it's like i said it's a pretty long template it's really long, actually. Oh, not even pretty long. It is really long. I'm going to go to the bottom of this. And then they have the female end. So at the end of this template, you will have to create your own choice and put the reader back into the game menu. So this is the only part you really have to do the hard work in if you're using this script template. That's only if you're using this episode script template. This is what you would have to do. So I want to create my own game menu. So when you're doing this, I'm going to put narrator because there have to be dialogue before the choice because we're going to make a choice and if you need more help on how to create a choice you can check out my previous video but um i want to say um let's do are you finished and then question mark and then i'm going to put in choice and i'm going to put a quotation i want to say you know i want to i want, I want to make it premium because i want to make it golden so I want to put premium that makes it golden and I'm going to put yes in the quotation open up the bracket um let's see that transition light transition fade out blue three you're going to say go to game underscore menu that's why it is important to create the label so that way the reader can leave the actual um customization template if you do not create it they will be stuck and they will be stuck in the customization template we don't want that so the next one i'm going to create is no so if they're not done they can go back and do the customization if they so be it um so i'm going to open up the bracket i'm going to click enter and then we can press go to and we can go up just to see what the name of this label is because i don't remember you see how long the customization template is it is very long so be careful <laughs> so i copied that label i'm gonna put it here paste it i don't need the label part i just need the name so go to female on its custom one and then the they do make sure that you credit the person who created this which is dara amari and then what i'm going to do is in the bracket no, I want to end the, oh, wait, hold on, wait, sorry, there we go, I don't know why that was so hard for a second, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this reader message, I'm going to erase it, and then I want to put it right here, so the readers can see it before they leave, um, so that is how you create that, so I think everything looks pretty much peachy keen, um, so that is how you create that, so the one way we can check to see how good we did it just to make sure it is tappable i'm going to click this arrow that's peeking down and then i'm going to just tap it but the other thing i want to do is just to see if it actually works so let's check now like i said before make sure you end with this bracket and then make sure you do another bracket the reason why you're doing another bracket is because you're closing out this customization template or you closing out this portion of the tappable thing um that's how you know that you didn't end with a bracket because if you know that is because this will usually if you press it it turns red that's how you know you didn't end it properly but i ended it properly so that's why i was able to do that so let's see if we did the tappable part right so i'm going to go here and let's see if we did it right all right so i want to see if we did the customization template right so let's go here we're going to click it 
All right, so the tappable customization button works. And here we go. So it looks pretty good to me. The only downsides to using the episode um, customization template, the only thing that's wrong with it is it doesn't, they don't update it. They don't update it. And so you have pretty much old hairstyles. Um, I think, yeah, they only have a few updos. Um, they don't keep up to date with this at all. Long hair. They, yeah, as you can see, they don't keep it up to date. So that's the only downside to using this template. They don't keep it up to date. What I would recommend is using the Dara Amari um, template. It it's always up to date and she has way more hairstyle choices. They don't really keep this up to date. So that's, I'm just using this for an example, but I wouldn't recommend using this template. It, but unless you want to keep it simple in your story, hey, go for it. But I was just using this template as an example. So we did good. So next thing we want to do is create the, um, we want to create the second tappable overlay, which is the start button. We're going to do the same thing. And what you want to do is, here's a tip. Make sure you don't put a space in between the um, tappable overlays. Otherwise, it's going to come up as an error. Make sure they're stacked against each other, please. So I'm going to put pink, start, uh -oh. start, start with the quotation, end with the quotation. And then I'm going to open up the bracket, and then I will put in my story that I want to be here. But you can either do that, or what I like to do is I'm going to say at transition, fade out blue five and then i want to say go to start and this will be the start of our story um because i know a lot of people they put their story within the brackets what you can do if you want there's no badness about it at all i just prefer not to i'd rather just start a whole new label but again do what you so choose and what i'm going to do is since that's what i want i'm going to create a label that says start and i'm gonna put my story here so that's what I want to do. I created the label that says start. So that way when readers click on this button, it transition, it fades, it fades out. And then it goes straight into this label, which will be our story. All right. So what I just did was create a little miniature story. Nothing exciting, really. Um, I just created a little just dialogue here. Um, so after I get done with this, it's going to segue right into our skip button. So we can just knock this out because it's really easy. So again... What I want to do is start with the quotation. I'm going to enter in the overlay that I want to be tappable, and I want to enter start skip. Let me pink skip. I'm going to close that quotation, open up a bracket, and then I'm going to say um, at transition fade out blue three. And I'm going to say go to end, which means this is the end of. The story. So just in case, I know a lot of people use this because I know sometimes um, episode, you know, you'll be reading a story, you'll be on chapter five and then something happens with like the server or something. And then it'll take you back to chapter three or four. And then you're like, hey, I already read this. I don't want to read the reread this story, especially if the episodes are long. You don't want to reread the whole story if you already did. So they create the skip button so you can skip it and go on to the next one. So I think that's a pretty useful button. So what I want to do is go to, I want to create a label and it's going to say end. So with this here, I'm just going to create an ending and I'm going to show you. All right. So I created the ending of my story. I just put it in like in front of an apartment building and I created, you know, the narrator, what they say. And then, so that's the skip button. So when they press the skip button, it's going to go straight to the ending. So let's see if it works. All right, <clears throat> so let's click the custom, no, I'm sorry. Let's click the start button. All right, so it's tapping, which is good, it's working. And then I created this little short story, nothing exciting. Let's go party. Yes, totally. Now let's go. Come on. And then that's the end of the story. Thank you for reading my story. But let's say that you've already seen my story. You don't want to see it again and you want to skip it. Let's click the button skip. And hey, it's it worked. So 
that is how you create toppable overlays and that is how you create a game menu the most important thing i will say that is important is creating your labels that is important so you can have references make sure that your toppable overlays is stacked against each other make sure there are no words in between them you know you did it right when you're able to put it down and lift it back up if when you do this and then when you try to tap it it turns red that's when you didn't close the bracket make sure you start with the quotation end with the quotation make sure you are opening brackets and closing them um that is what is important make sure you are creating your overlays properly make sure you have the opacity right so i think everything is looking pretty good so that is how you create tappable overlays and in your game menu if you have any questions please let me know please like comment and subscribe i will really appreciate it thank you until next time